Jordan. So, Mr Jordan, Hello. welcome to BBC News at 10. Um, I heard it was filled with reporters and paparazzi outside. Yeah, it was. It was, it was quite tricky to get inside, but, really? oh, okay. yeah, but we're here now. We're here. That's good, that's good. Um, so you've just come out of prison. What are your plans for the future now that you've been um, just, just to really get back on track. Like for the past few years, it was hard. It was just, it was a rough, it was a rough run. So I'm just going to get myself back on track, find a job, find out how to do it. Just start, start a new life, really. Move out of my location where I was before. Yeah. That's that's good to hear. It's all right. Um, so it's been said that whilst you were doing your time, that prison guards have reported that you've done certain things that may appear like you're mentally unstable? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say I am I can say I'm mentally unstable. Clearly because when I was younger, I saw stuff I shouldn't really see because of my dad and I got into trouble at school and it wasn't really a good, I wasn't, I wasn't in a good place and everything was just getting worse and worse. So your mentality is also like apparently being the cause or the uprising towards your murder cases. So were you deemed as mentally unstable before your homicide on campus? Um, uh, yeah, I would say so. But in a way that I, when I did murder somebody, it wasn't because I was mentally unstable, I did it for a reason. Okay. So supposedly, like you said just earlier, you had quite a hard upbringing yeah. um, when you were younger. So what what was that like to have that upbringing? Uh, it was it was hard. It wasn't really a normal bring bring up as a child when we have. Like I was, uh, I had a shit mum, I had a shit dad. My dad never used to look after me. Uh, my friends were they're all fucked up. Or oh, sorry to give my language. They are very they're like. I had friends who used to persuade me to do the stuff I shouldn't do. Yeah. And I was, I was very easily peer pressured from doing things, but that was clearly due to my mental state. Oh, okay, yeah. But, yeah. Right. Guess so, yeah. Um, so, you know, the anger that you had before, is that how you took it out on your victims? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, do you regret any of your murders? Of course like, I do, yeah, of course I do. How do you feel for the families that they've had to suffer like this? Yeah, it makes me, I cried every day at prison really, it wasn't really good. I used to always think about it, their families and how they suffered and I'm still here sat in a cell, yeah. even though I've killed somebody. So yeah, I do regret it a lot, but yeah. So, well, it's good to hear that you've been getting better and that you can finally lead a normal life like you've wanted, mm -hmm. just like everyone else. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a pleasure to have you here. Thank you.